Namaste everybody, so today is going to be a little bit of a different video than what I'm used to doing and I've recorded this video countless of times, but right now I decided I'm just going to combine it I'm not going to do a two part video, which I was going to do and it really really turned out bad A little burped <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to start out by saying I have a peanut allergy, I was diagnosed at two with a peanut allergy because my mom started well, what the doctor said was for my mom to, like, introduce allergens into my diet. And I ended up having a reaction to peanuts. And, yeah, so ever since then, I got to carry this baby around. Um, it is an EpiPen. It's for emergencies only. You jam it into the side of your thigh. And it will give you immediate relief for, like, swelling of the throat if you have it. And I don't like to talk about this because it scares me and it makes some people mad at me. They think they think that I think I'm special or something, which I really don't. So I don't hardly say it. And if I don't think that something is going to have peanuts in it, I don't mention it. Or if I think it's a very low chance, I don't mention it which was really stupid because each time I get exposed to peanuts, it gets worse. Um, before, all I got was hives. Now, I get hives. My mouth get, feels like it has, like, cotton in it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just the swelling of the tongue, the swelling of the face, the swelling of the eyes, um, throwing up, diarrhea. I get those symptoms. The only thing I have not had happen to me yet is my throat close, or I've been able to breathe. So I've had not, I haven't used this baby yet, but I should have Tuesday night. I really should have because I just found out that when you do get that feeling of your tongue, you feel like this cotton in your mouth, that means that your tongue is starting to block your airway. And I thought I'd make this for all the people with allergies because there's a group on Facebook that's pissed off that there are some schools around my area that no longer allow peanuts or peanut butter in lunches. Like, they will kick your kid out of the lunchroom if you have peanuts. Because there are people like me who, if we touch it, if we eat it, it will kill us. There are some kids that have it way worse than me, and there are some kids that don't, you know, they hardly have a reaction at all, and they still eat it, but they're still, like, slightly allergic to it. There are some kids that call it a peanut intolerance, where your body cannot digest peanuts. You know, there's a bunch of things. But I was going to make this video Monday night, and then when I didn't have any time Monday night, I was going to make it Tuesday night. And Tuesday night... Tuesday night, I had my reaction, and I was stupid, and all I took was my Benadryl. I'm going to explain how I treat my allergy, and maybe that will help some kids, maybe it won't, maybe it will make it worse. Like, don't listen to me. Go to your health professional. I love stupid hair. Go to your health professional, okay? This is just for all the people who need this information. I never had this information for me. My mom just had to keep telling me, do this, do this, do this. And, like, nobody on YouTube talked about this, really. All I said was jam yourself with an EpiPen if you have any symptoms. It's like, no. This is expensive. <laughs> this baby is, like... What was it, like 200 for a pack? $300 for a pack of these? That's with your insurance. That's with insurance, by the way. I'm not sure, but I know it's really freaking expensive. Like, it's in the hundreds. And some people have to use two of these. And it comes in a pack of two. <laughs> like, EpiPen should really, really be sued for this. Like, I'm not even saying... Like, they should be in trouble for, like, 
making something that's life saving, life saving, so expensive. But anyway, here's what you do. So here, if my allergy is going so so, like I'm having hives, the normal stuff, I take Benadryl. I also made the mistake Tuesday night of only taking Benadryl and not taking my EpiPen, which I found out later from a nurse that that could have killed me. <laughs> I'm lucky that either the peanut went through my body quick because I had diarrhea, or my um, Benadryl last year really was amazing, and I probably overdosed on it. But anyway, when you this is my trainer. This just teaches you how to do it. So this has no medicine, no needles, don't worry. Anyway, so what you do, it's right here in your thigh, it goes right through clothes. So you do it like this, jam it. I should also say that don't jam it like multiple times like I just did, like you just do this. One, two, three, let it go. And it's very scary to do it. Very scary. I get scared each time I have a reaction because I'm afraid that I'm going to have to do this. It hurts. But it saves your life. It's expensive, but it saves your life. Uh-oh. Harry Potter's out. <laughs> anyway, I had to make this video. Please, please don't be stupid like I am. Get medical help. Bye.